If I may be so bold, I ask that you consider the following to be a designer's guidebook of sorts. A manifesto for designers by an aspiring one. As such, the youth and inexperience that I have, and therefore the ideas I am yet to share, may seem inherently naive or idealistic. However, this perspective is exactly what the world needs right now. To create valuable change, it is in our best interest to listen to new voices, new ways of thinking, and new ways of doing. Our values shape who we are as people. They go on to inform how we live out our lives, how we treat others, and how we see the world, how we want to see it. This in itself is not, by any means, a groundbreaking statement. In an industry as broad and impactful as design, the values that we as designers hold are, whether one realises it or not, valuable. So firstly, be curious. Be curious about people their experiences, their stories and culture, embrace individuality and use it. Creativity thrives in the presence of diversity. Be curious about places, natural or not, be inspired by how it came to be, its history, its cultural significance, its architecture, its landscape. Be curious about the why. Continue to learn, continue to grow and always challenge the status quo. Secondly, and above all else, be compassionate. Have compassion for yourself, your friends, your family, your neighbours, your pets, your houseplants. Be empathetic. It is part of the human-centred design process, but more importantly, it is crucial to how we treat and interact with our fellow human beings and the world around us. Unfortunately, there exists a paradigm of short-term growth in a competitive rat race of sorts. To regrettably exacerbate, this paradigm transcends the design industry. And while it does not apply strictly to designers, the problem unique to this creative industry is the nature of the lasting damage it can do to the world. The things that we design, the imagery we produce, the infrastructure we build, the products we innovate, have an impact. Positive or negative, it is our duty as designers to ensure that even the wildest of wild cards, the seemingly impossible possibilities, are considered. Our current approach to design focuses on progress and product. It is as though if we don't produce something at the end of the day, the work is invaluable. In fact, it seems we are so focused on progress that we choose to ignore the flaws that exist in the process. However, the end does not justify the means. As designers, we hold a grand and often underestimated responsibility to create things that bear a positive impact. It would be a disservice to ourselves and the rest of the world should we choose to ignore this undeniable, unrelenting fact. So, remember your responsibility. Focus on the process. Stay curious and stay compassionate. Collaborate with people. People who are different, who have different life experiences, cultures, stories, and ideas. Be proud of what you create. And create something of value by focusing on the means by which you achieve it, and not the products you're left with. Ultimately, in a practical sense, design should be progressive. This is not to say progress focused, but rather advocate for a more ideal, more inclusive community. Design needs to facilitate and nurture the idea that humans can coexist with one another. It needs to fundamentally shift our ways of being so we can create and build upon the foundations of the idea that we are truly, the forever cliched yet undeniable fact, all in this together.